Uh, here we're in Scott, or the Scott Man Inn. We are here at the Detroit Metropolitan Airport at the McNamara Terminal. This is a, a little a little visitor's guide to McNamara Terminal. D really quick, Detroit Metropolitan Airport has two main terminals. The McNamara Terminal, which is mainly serves Delta Airlines, Aeromexico, and Air France. If you're flying any other airlines such as United, American, Southwest, etc., you'll be flying through the North Terminal, so this video will not really apply to you. Still nevertheless, it's a really cool terminal. Uh, the uh, McNamara Terminal has been around since 2002. It started out as being the, the main hub for Northwest Airlines. However, Northwest Airlines is not around anymore because they merged with Delta back in 2009. So we'll, we'll take you throughout the airport and show you some different points of interest while you're here at the terminal, whether you're flying out of Detroit or if you have a connecting flight here. After you go through the, the, the TSA security back that way, this is the first corridor you, you come to before you come over to, uh, to, to the main hallway over there. So one thing to note, if you have a connecting flight that goes either into McNamara Terminal or into the North Terminal and you have to change terminals. Let's say you're, you're flying in with Southwest and you're flying out with Delta. Keep in mind that you do have to go through security again. So keep that in mind if you have a connecting flight and you're trying to see how much layover time you have. And there is no direct connection between terminals within the security zone. The only way between the two terminals Back outside, there is a free shuttle which will take you between the two terminals and also to the to the Weston Hotel, which I'll talk about later in the video. The McNamara Terminal has three concourses. That's right, three concourses. This is Concourse A. This is the main concourse. It's about a mile long from point A to point B, all at the very end. You can either walk all the way or you can take the express tram. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And there are two all other smaller concourses over that way. You have to take a you have to go into a very cool tunnel to get over there. So concourses B and C are typically more for the Delta Connection flights. All throughout the terminal, they'll have different airport directories so you can take a look to see where certain services, restaurants, and shops are. As you can tell, we're right there. Concourse A is about a mile long, so it could be a very long walk. And you can walk a lot faster on, on, on these walkways. It's preferred if you're walking to stand on the left, and if you just want to stand and enjoy the ride, stand off to the right. Because Concourse A is quite long, as I mentioned earlier, you can take the express tram to go from point A to point B or just to the, to the center of the terminal where you can get access to concourses B and C as well as the, the exit. There are a few escalators at each station which will take you up to the tram. And this screen here will show you where the two trains are to, uh, to, uh, to take the express tram from one station to another. As you can tell, the next one leaves the terminal station, the center, in about uh, two minutes and ten seconds. Near the entrance to Concourse A, there is a sign at the top as well. Wait for the tram to arrive at your station. Hop on and let the express tram take you to where you would like to go in Concourse A. It is quite a fun ride and it is absolutely free. Concourse gates A1 through A28. Yeah, it's one quick way to get from one side of Concourse A to another. It takes about about four minutes to go from from both ends. So yeah, coming up next, one of my favorite things about this about this terminal, you get to go through a cool tunnel with beautiful sounds and a lot of amazing color. So up in the video, I will warn you if you're very sensitive to bright shining lights you might want to skip ahead a little bit. In fact, too, if, if you are sensitive to, to flashing light, they do, they do give you an option where you, can, where you can have it turn off. 
The tunnel connects Concourse A with Concourses B and C. Check out all the many colors flashing throughout the tunnel. You'll also hear different kinds of music from Motown to more relaxing music. This is my favorite attraction at McNamara Terminal. Wasn't that tunnel awesome? You bet it was. <laughs> So this is concourse B and C. Again, this is for the smaller flights, such as like the, basically the Delta Connection flights. Concourse C is back that way, and concourse B is that way. In the center of concourse A, as you head straight down from security, you will come across this really awesome fountain. The water spits out in so many cool patterns. Check out this piano. Who's playing that piano? There are many places to shop in the terminal in all three concourses, including the first hallway after security. If you are hungry, McNamara Terminal has many places to eat. There are many different options from fast food and takeout such as McDonald's, Subway, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Potbelly, and Cadoba to sit-down restaurants such as Max and Irma's, Longhorn Steakhouse, Leo's Coney Island, Andiamo, Chili's, and even a Japanese restaurant. Since I have uh, quite a bit of a wait till my flight leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and eat at, at uh, Kakura's Tap Room. As you can tell, plenty of great dining opportunities here at here at the uh, McNamara Terminal. Take a look at this possible. <laughs> Got some linguine with Pomodoro sauce. Mm. So good. I, I really like it. Oh boy, that was so good. When you're here at the airport and you're waiting for a flight, it's very important to not only eat, but to feast. Oh yeah. If you have a nighttime layover in, in Detroit Metro Airport, uh, whether you're flying through McNamara or North Terminal, there's only one hotel located here within the airport grounds. This is the West End. It's, accessible only from the from Mac, uh, from uh, McNamara terminal however if you have a connecting flight at North terminal and you have to stay the night uh, there are shuttles which take again take you between the two terminals and and there's a special stop for the Westin so no worries keep in mind the Westin is outside the secure zone so if you stay at the Westin and you have a flight even here in Mac Namara Terminal the next morning, you will have to go through security again. McNamara Terminal has free Wi-Fi, so you can surf the web on your phone, laptop, or iPad. The North Terminal also has free Wi-Fi. And there are also a few different Delta Sky Clubs here in, in, in the terminal as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's little guide here around the McNamara Terminal here at the Detroit Metropolitan Airport. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Skyman 895 trail videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Well, I gotta go catch a flight to Austin, Texas. So, thank you for watching today's video here at the, the McNamara Terminal. This is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.